Today's video will cover how to build a Raspberry Pi Zero camera and then stream the camera over RTSP. So let's get started. I'll start by assembling the Raspberry Pi using a case I found online. The case, however, needs a couple of little changes so that the camera cable will fit outside of the box with ease. One thing also to note is that the lid doesn't actually fit properly, so we'll skip that. We'll stick our camera down but after peeling off the tape that is on the pads, and there's the camera mounted. Insert the SD card with Raspbian already installed, set up for Wi-Fi and SSH. Try again with the lid, but this lid just really doesn't want to fit. So let's skip the lid and just plug it in and continue on. Now we'll have to configure the camera Save the settings and exit. Next we'll install our GStreamer tools and RTSP tools for GStreamer. Once that is done, we are ready to install the two third-party apps that are required. The first one being the GStreamer RPI Cam Source Driver. In later versions of GStreamer, this is already installed. However, for what we are going to be doing, we need to install it. We'll start by cloning, but unfortunately, the default Raspbian that I've used does not have Git installed, so we will start by installing Git. Now that Git is installed, we are ready to clone the repository for the GStreamer Raspbian Cam Source Driver. To install the driver, we'll change into the directory for the repository that we just downloaded. Taking a look at the readme file in the repository, we can see that there are several packages that we need to install in order to be able to build this particular driver. We will install them passing in the minus Y for yes, so that it will not ask for confirmation. Next is to run the autogen, which will create all the make files required to build this particular driver. We will then issue the make, which will compile the driver, and then the make install, which will install it into the system. Now that it's been installed, we can use the GST inspect command, passing in the uh, Raspberry Cam source driver so that we can check that it is actually working for our version of GStreamer, which it is. The second third party package that we'll install is the RTSP simple server. This is a simple piece of code that will take our Cam source driver and serve it out as an RTSP stream ready for consumption. If we take a look at the release page, we can see a version 0.17.3. We will download the ARM6 version of this package, which is pre-compiled. After we have it downloaded onto the Pi, we now extract the zip file and we can see it contains two, the two files, a server and a server YAML. The second being for our configurations. We will now create a directory in which to copy these two files into. We now need to edit our YAML file. By scrolling down to the paths, we can delete everything from all to the bottom of the file. We will create a new path called stream. 
Looking back at the website for the RTSP Simple Server, we can see that there is a section on how to publish a Raspberry Pi camera. We will take the two lines for the run on init and the run on restart and paste those in after our stream. This will make the stream server start up and uh, publish our Raspbian camera. Next, we will create a service file which will start our RTSP simple server on boot. We will set the working directory to the varlib streaming so that it picks up our YAML file for configuration. Next we will start the service and take a look at the logs for the daemon and we can see that there are R commands coming in through the RTSP simple server. If you liked the video please press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.